Hi everyone, Jai Hind, Jai Bharat, Jai Matadi. So we are talking here with Abhiprai Jain, who is a senior surveyor in Lloyd's. And today's video is about qualities required to be a surveyor. This is very important video because now that you have decided that your shipping is not made for you, you want to go for another option, and you're thinking about being a surveyor. You have watched all other videos of Abhiprai, where he's talking about advantages of being a surveyor, disadvantages. There's a podcast where he's even talking about the salaries that you can expect, the challenges, the lifestyle change that he had, everything covered. So, but the qualities video is over here. So you see that if you have those qualities or you can build those qualities, then only go ahead. Else again, you'll be thinking, Nahi, yaar, galat jaga no, survey job is not made for me. Jai Matadi. Right, sir? Right. Yeah, that's true. Uh, well, having said that, not just surveying. In any job, you require some sort of skills. Here, particularly, we are trying to discuss as to what a surveyor can expect to be good at and uh, what I would say uh, the first thing which comes to my mind is uh, being uh, ten, uh, having attention to detail uh, because the moment you bo boat through the gangway you are start you are starting to look what's the problem is there a problem or where should I be looking how I should be planning my survey should I first have a look on the main deck or should I go to the engine room main deck seem to look fine things like that so having that attention to detail is important uh, secondly, um, being physically fit, having that physically physical stamina is uh, important because at times, if it's an annual survey which takes around eight to ten hours uh, or can be more than that, uh, you you are expected to work continuously. And then at times, sometimes people have physical stamina but they don't have mental stamina, which is also required as a surveyor. Meaning that you you plan a day till say uh, to do only six ballast tanks, for example, in a day, and you are being uh, you you finish the six ballast ballast tanks, and you are offered say four more ballast tanks to do. Uh, you should be uh, you know mentally capable of taking that as a challenge, and should be able to deliver, depending on the ship's trading pattern, ship's route, and ship's ETD ETA. You know, um, uh, the third point I would say is. Uh, being good at problem solving skills. Uh, surveyors, people think, are there to only give problem, but we are also there to propose solutions to the problem. Um, um, so that's the third point. Now, when we say it, and it's uh, and it's, uh, it's the part of the fourth point as well. When we say problem solving skills, it comes with the technical skills because if you have those technical background and technical knowledge. Then you are able to, uh, you know, solve in uh, solve a problem. Um, I've said this many times, and this point is important: uh, time management. Whenever we're doing a survey or an audit, we should have a good plan in hand. And uh, you know, plan is something which can change based on the current conditions. However, having a plan gives you a right direction and a streamlined vision to do the survey. So, time management is required. Because ship comes in the morning and it's leaving in the evening, you have to finish the survey within that amount of time. If you can't do it alone, maybe you need two surveyors to do it, or maybe you have to partial the survey and do it at a later stage. And um, last but not the least, I would say uh, visualization skills. Uh, you should be able to visualize how the ship looks, what port, what starboard, even by looking at the picture. Uh, so uh, that comes with the experience when you are an experienced surveyor of course from day one you will not be able to understand that but when you start doing tank inspections when the moment you will see something you will know where it is what it is and what's to be done god thank you very much abhiprai really well prepared with the qualities required to be a surveyor and out of these six qualities one quality i have seen see when you talk about attention to detail, I was always into this. Yeah, they have come to create a problem. Now they'll find out deficiencies, then we'll start again. But now you require right. that attention to detail to find out those flaws or deficiencies, right? Which is Correct. to make the ship better, which is better Correct. for us, but we do not understand while we're on ship. Second thing is one of the dry docks was happening on one of my friendships. And when they opened up the propeller shaft, they found a crack. And then suddenly, Correct. The survey, they are, the chief engineer, the owners are asking surveyor now what to do. And that is the right. point where surveyor could help out with the problem solving thing and give a suggestion as well. So that is the point in which respect came to your surveyor solved the problem which you could not even think of. So these are the yeah. out of box things that a surveyor needs to have. So once again, right. having said that, by knowledge is power and in this profession, 
you need to keep yourself updated. You need to keep learning, learning, Marpol, Salas, MLC, anything and everything. So with this, thank you, Bupai, for sharing all the information. I hope many more people who are uh, feeling like putting merchant navy, they go for this noble job and do wonderful out here. Jai Matadi. Thank you very much. Thank you.